Fed USA. All right, what's going on YouTube? This is Fed USA Gaming. Today we will be unboxing the Wolverine vs. Hulk figure set from Marvel Legends. Now, straight away you can see on the front here, 80 years. Uh, this is the 80th year anniversary set. Uh, let me move it over to the sides. You can see we got some nice uh, art. Looks like some classic comics, though I do not believe these are actual panels cut from those comics. But when we go on to the back, we have right here the Incredible Hulk and now the Wolverine. Uh, this is their first crossover comic, uh, their first appearance together. And uh, in right, right here in the background, you can see we got the Wendigo. The Wendigo will actually be uh, coming out as its own figure in a couple months from now, and so I thought that was a pretty cool Easter egg. So without further ado, let's just hop into this box. Alright, so here you can see we have the two figures and both of their... Uh, other hands. Uh, each one comes with two sets of hands. For the Hulk you have two fists and two open hands, sort of in a claw shape. And then with Wolverine, both are closed fists, but uh, one set has the Wolverine claws extended and the other has them retracted. So let's take them out of their packaging. So right away, you can see the Hulk's massive scale. Uh, I like the fact that you can replace the hands on there to make him be in whatever pose you would like him to be in. That's really good for displaying. Uh, that's very nice. And he's basically the size of his own Build-A-Figure without having to buy like eight extra things, without having to spend over $100 on figures, which is very good considering this whole box costs around 70 bucks. Now let's take a close-up look here. Alright, so one feature of this Hulk figure that you can see right away is this lab coat. And this is very nice. It's a very soft plastic, very malleable. So you can take this off and you could equip this to any Hulk figure that you have. Or if you just don't like him with the lab coat on, you can just take it off, throw it out. It, it, it doesn't matter. But what's really cool is how they actually have it fitted here so it stays on pretty snugly once it's on there. So if you put it on, it's not going anywhere while still having the ability to take it off, which is pretty nice. Uh, now let's look at the Hulk. We have quite a few points of articulation here in the kneecaps, you can see, in the uh, elbows, around the hands, which are, of course, replaceable. Uh, the head here rotates and goes uh, has a little bit of up-down motion. Now on the back, you got these, uh, I don't know what to call it, uh, now on the back we got these uh, butterfly hinges, fairly nice articulation. Uh, the arms go all the way around, which is pretty good. Uh, they also go up, down, and around here in the waist. It rotates, and we have some nice articulation here in the midsection. All right, and now you can see I've zoomed in a little bit. That's because this uh, Wolverine figure is on a much smaller scale than the Hulk. Uh, that's pretty cool. I, I like how large they made him. It's pretty nice. We, we, we can go in here. We can see the uh, claws. They aren't very sturdy, but it seems like if you were just going to pose him in a display case, they should be good enough. Uh, if you can see here, there's a lot of flex there. But that's all right. That works pretty well. Even so, uh, we have similar points of articulation here in the elbows, uh, up here in the shoulders, goes up, down, all around. Uh, this piece right here, this uh, sleeve, I guess, partial sleeve, uh, it seems to be connected to this uh, connector right here. So it moves with the arm, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know, really depending on how you're thinking about posing him, it could uh, pose some complications, but uh, that, it, it seems to be working alright. 
if you keep his arms fairly steady these do rotate uh, 360 degrees uh, the legs here you have the legs here you do have uh, one point of articulation here which allows you to rotate them 360 degrees uh, the knees as well bend unbend uh, in the feet you have a pretty good wide range of motion along with in the abdomen here goes back to about there goes forward to about there and the head you get basically uh, yeah, 360 degree rotation, a uh, little bit of up-down motion. And then also in the abdomen you can see there is this belt. That is a very nice feature. It is very detailed. This is the classic Wolverine. Uh, this is the classic Wolverine uniform from his uh, first appearances. And uh, if I'm being honest, it is one of my favorites. Just how saturated the colors are on the uniform versus the uh, later models is very nice. Uh, I, I like bright colors, so that, that's just my opinion. Uh, but if you are like me, this is a great figure to get. Let's take a close-up view of the Hulk's face. You can see there is some pretty fine sculpting in there. Uh, I don't know if I can get a good angle on it. You can see the eyes very white with those pupils in there. The teeth are absolutely remarkable. They're small, but they're very detailed along with the rest of his facial expression. If you look in the hair here, you can see the black with the small highlights of green, which I'm actually getting a pretty good angle on right now. Then the pants are torn up down here, as opposed to some other figures where you might find that uh, the pants are completely, uh, where you might find that the pants are completely painted on. In this one, you can see that the pants are sort of their own entity, along with this uh, lab coat up here. It seems that they're made out of a similar material. These are just fitted on tighter, not meant to be uh, removed or toyed with. But down here towards the fringes at the bottom you can see some of that flexibility that I'm talking about. And that's very nice. Nice to see that. You got the tears here, you got the tears there. Uh, that, that, that's great. Uh, of course it's very nice to see that they went with the original model of the Hulk which is very nice to see for the 80th anniversary edition. Makes sense. Same thing that they did with the Wolverine. Uh, but the detail here, the level of detail is remarkable. I'm just going to remove this lab coat real quick. Alright, if I can get a close up on the pecs here, which I can right there, you can see that the shading on his pecs are a little bit lighter down here than it is with the rest of his body. Same thing with the biceps there. If you can see that, I feel like the detail on this is very remarkable, very nice. You can see the veins, you can see uh, every little groove, every nook and cranny here. This is a great display piece. If you're a collector and you enjoy displaying your products, this would be a must get. Real quick, I'm going to switch out the hands on this guy, see how that process goes, and I'll check back with you after I'm done. Alright, while I have it here in this uh, state of disassembly, I would like to take a moment to look at the hands in a closer view. And the detail is remarkable. You can even see the fingernails here, if I can get that to focus. Right there. And uh, the knuckles, all the little ridges, all the grooves, folds in the hands are just spectacular. We can take a look at the other hand right here. Uh, this is the sort of claw grip hand. You can see all the different wrinkles up here. I don't know how good that's coming across on the camera, but the attention to detail, the wrinkles, the shading on these hands are remarkable. All right, so here you can see that I have attached both of the fists. The process for doing so was very simple. You simply just snap this piece out, just pull, and then pop the other one in with these little grooves here fitting into their own little sockets. Very simple, very easy, and I really appreciate that. Uh, I like the fact that you can swap out the fists on a lot of Hulk figurines. I've seen that uh, the hands are stuck in one position, and when you have something like the Wolverine here, you don't really notice the fists, especially if you're displaying it. Uh, those are very small portions of the overall figure's form. But when you go to a larger figure such as the Hulk, the hands take a much larger precedence, because the figure is so huge. Uh, Alright, in volume, I would say that the fists of the Hulk are about the same size as Wolverine's arm. And so, 
if you are a collector and you're trying to display your figure, it would definitely be a lot bigger of a deal if you couldn't switch out the hands on something like this, on a large figure such as this. Uh, so I really appreciate that. When we get down a bit lower, you can really see the scale that the Hulk takes over Wolverine here, uh, which is really nice to see. Uh, it, it, if, if this were in the comics, I would assume that the Hulk would, of course, be much larger than Wolverine. As a matter of fact, I would assume it to be at this approximate scale. So it is very nice to see a accurate representation of that in this set. Alright, well this was an unboxing and overview of the Hulk vs. Wolverine figure set from Marvel Legends uh, to celebrate their 80th anniversary. And honestly, I can't think of a better way to celebrate that anniversary than by buying this figure set. We are currently in stock of this specific product on our online store, FedUSAGaming.com. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you would like more content from us, then please subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Keep gaming. Fed USA Gaming. Feed your passion.